Hello everyone and welcome back to Kirby 64 and the Crystal Shards. I'm Gaming Roy. Last time we left off, we just beat Neo Star, and this time we're going into probably my favorite world, Shiver Star. But while we're let's go back in the well, already back in the the world select, but I wanna point something out here real quick, like. Um there's a bit of theories with this world. Um if you look at the world it kinda resembles Earth and the moon around it also looks like our moon. Which is kinda cool because it really does kinda look like Earth too. Just like looking at it, if you see it rotate, it really looks like various parts of Earth, obviously. And I don't know, people have theories about like this is like frozen over Earth and like, you know, Kirby is actually part of our world, which is kinda cool that they kinda add that in. It's pretty sweet, I think. Alright, sorry about that, that's a little bit of interruption there. Um, let's see, I don't, you don't need to come into this world with anything special, but keep your eye out for a certain ability I'll talk about a little bit later. Um, I'm just going to pick up some random ones for now, although the ability we need is coming up right now, so, yeah. Um, we actually need fire. Um, I think you can get double fire, but I'm just going to be safe and let's get uh, the single fire. Plus, we honestly don't use single, well actually, yeah, I guess we kind of do, but... I don't know, I'm just going to use single fire just to be completely safe. We don't need it until the second crystal shard, so you will have to keep it until then, sadly, but uh, just be careful is all. Do not lose it, do not die. Well, I guess you can die, because it will send you back to the beginning, so yeah. You're going to be fine if that happens. I also really enjoy the music in Shiver Star, I thought I'd mention that. I'm getting hit a lot, way too much for my liking. I wish kind of like, I feel like, I don't sh I think they have, I forgot Kirby games have it, but then... Some Kirby games they have it where you can increase your health if you get certain things. So I kind of wish they had in this game, but alas, did they do not? And also, I must say, like in video games in general, I may have talked about this on my channel or not before, but either one I still talk about now. Um, I really do love ice slash snow worlds in the games. I live in an area where it doesn't snow very often, so I don't get to see much of it. I still see a lot of it in my area, but it's uh, it's still not a very common thing, and it's just really kind of cool to me. It looks so. It just looks so pretty, and I love like I love the music in nice areas, and I don't know, it's just so cool to me just to be able to see these kind of areas, and I really do enjoy them. And we have Waddle Dee at the sled, which makes this all so much more, I don't know, the snowy kind of feeling. It's not really like Christmassy, but it's just really nice. That's why I just love about snow is that they're just like so nice and so pretty, and ah, it just it just makes me happy. All right, I'm gonna jump over this igloo. I forgot actually it's inside the oh whoops inside those igloos, but, oh well. Um, just so you know, there's going to be another igloo coming up here, I think soonish, that you're going to want to jump over to, because that is where your crystal shard is. Oof, if you miss that, you have to do the entire level over again, or at least that segment. I'm not sure if that's a check, the sled is a checkpoint or not, but I don't really want to check that out right now. It might be. I, I think it, I, I feel like it would be, but I feel like you would also start at the beginning of the level, so die, do whatever you want. Also, this is where your other crystal shard is. If, if you still have the fire ability, hopefully you do. Just burn this icicle and then just beat the mini moss and that thing will appear. And, okay. You have to be also pretty careful about how you defeat this mini boss because if you're not careful enough, you can actually fly out of this room with the, the firepower like I almost just did there. So be extremely careful of that because if you do do that, then, well, you missed your crystal shard and that's that sucks. And the next one you don't really need any more power for, so just stroll, just uh, make your way through this level and stroll through it, and we'll we can actually get rid of this power if we want to. I'm actually gonna get this ice power because it'll be pretty useful. It'll be pretty nice to have actually. Oh, okay. I actually really enjoy the ice power too in Kirby games. They're also they're always usually pretty fun. This one's actually a lot different than all the other ones. Like usually in Kirby games, you well I guess I think no no it wasn't even originally like this. Like, you never, like, this, I don't think this ever came back with the whole spinny thing. I don't think so, anyways. Um, I think you want to go down this hole? Yes, you do. Oh, dang it. Stupid Gordos. Good thing this is at a level, though, otherwise I might be dead here. I still might be dead here. Okay, there's food there. We're good, we're good, we're good. Um, but yeah, usually in Kirby games, it's just, like, kind of like a, a breath, I guess, of you breathing ice, and it kind of, it still makes some ice blocks, but it just looks different. And I think before that, before the breath, oh, you can't go up there, because it's ice, duh. Um, <laughs> this kind of looks like it's not frozen for some reason. Um, but before that, it was just like a, I feel like it was, it's kind of like this kind of, oh dang it, I should have waited. And, oh no no, oh I died, no, crap. 
Alright, that's fine. I think we still have the Crystal Shard, but I'll still go back to make sure, because I'm just not entirely sure. Um, so let's go do that. I think this guy, yeah, this guy gives you ice, but it's kind of like this uh, thing that's for the Breath of Ice, I think it's like this thing that kind of surrounded you. I believe it did come back eventually, but they called it something different. I can't remember what exactly, but um, but it only brought it back for like one game, I think, if even. I couldn't be entirely wrong, but I'll see. But I know for actually, well, I know for a fact that that whole ice, the other ice thing existed. I forget what it's called, though, in the other game. Right, I'm just going to go down here and make sure I don't get this crystal shard again. I don't think I do, and if I don't, it won't be there, or it'll be like a blue star instead. It doesn't, yeah, it's not there, but just to make sure, because I'm not sure if it's hidden or not. Nope. Okay, there was a star behind there. That's, or is there some behind there? <laughs> I heard a noise where I picked something up. Probably this food. Because my star meter didn't go up at all, so. Whatever. Okay, let's actually wait for this corner this time so we don't have to get hit again, because, well, we all know that ended. Although, we don't, we're not, there's no way you can actually die at this point now. It's be pretty sad, actually. Okay, now you get out of my way. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. And that should be the end of the level, I think. Oh, no, 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 it's one more screen, I think. I don't know, whatever. Let's just kill this guy. And, oh, Cutter. Oh, I actually... Oh, no. Oh, yeah, I'm actually... I really want to show this off. This is actually, like, one of my favorite abilities in this game. I'm not sure if I showed it off yet, because I don't know, the recording... Like, or, you know, the, 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 what, the gap between recordings and stuff. But this is so cool. Like, if, you, if you're if you in a good level for this, there's actually not very many levels that are good for this. Even this section of the level isn't that good for this ability. But it's just so cool you get to ice skate, and it's just, ah, oh, this feels so good to, like, ice skate. It's also kind of hard to stop from it, so you have to press B, but there's kind of a delay from it, too, so you kind of be careful with that. But it's just so fun to use, and it's just like, oh, it's such a, oh, whoops, that you can run into him without it. You have to jump. Uh, oh, no, 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 okay. Die! I don't know if those guys give you an ability. It looks like they would give you spike, but I'm not really sure. I'm not entirely sure about that. I'm also curious because of the whole. Actually, no, no. Never mind. I don't know. I was gonna say I was gonna thought those guys appeared in like Return to Dreamland as the spear abilities because you get the spear ability later on in Kirby games. So I thought maybe they would appear as a spear. I don't think they did though. I think it was some weird little enemy that you got spear from in Return to Dreamland. Eh. And speaking of which. Kirby Triple Deluxe, um, at the time of me recording this, comes out in like, uh, and it's like March 1st as of today, so that's what, oh, whoops, I was, I was looking at, the, looking at the wall, trying to think, um, that's, oh, look, yeah, there's a witch in the background, she's appeared in like various levels and stuff, it's a very interesting character, um, it comes out like two months, two months in a day, it comes out like May 2nd, at least in America, it already came out in Japan, um, but, oh, I missed that terribly. And aw, he cries so much. Um, <laughs> yeah, that, that's coming out soon, though. Uh, we actually want to go back. I'm actually not looking forward to this level. This is one of those other levels where you have to like keep certain power for the whole level. And that is not fun. I mean, I, I like the challenge, but at the same time, it's just, ugh, it's just, it's just hard, I guess. I don't know. No but other better way to explain that. Ugh. Okay, there we go. We want to get spike and electric. I think that's what it said. Yeah, that's what my yeah, yeah. That is what we want to get. So we're gonna get that real quick, and then we will go back to that level. But yeah, that game, the triple deluxe game, looks like really fun. I don't know. It, I like the fact that like they're. I don't know exactly too much about it right now, besides like some of the new powers and stuff and whatnot. Um, but it looks it looks fun. Like it reminds me of a uh, little bit of. Squeak's got in a way, just because like the, the, they're bringing back the chests and stuff, and I don't know, it just looks cool. Um, we may have to just go. Yeah, let's just do this. We're gonna go ahead and get the electricity ability here, and then we're gonna go back to I think this level, the first level, because there's spike ability like right there. I'm not sure if you can find spike that fast in uh, whatever it's called, the the, the world that I usually go to get the powers, because that's actually one ability that's hard to find. Hang on, we have to wait here for him to get out of his ball. Come on, stop it. Oh my gosh. Can I still do it to you? Yeah, I can. Okay, <laughs> I wasn't sure, actually. Alright, so let's get out of here. Um, we want to go back to Shifferstar. 
I actually forget what the new abilities are in that game, but I remember them being interesting, kind of weird. I actually don't know exactly how I feel about them. Even though I don't remember them at the moment, I still don't know how I feel about them. Anyways, you are going to want Spike and Electric throughout this, because there's a thing at the very, very, very end where you have to break something. And you have to, and there's two other shards before it, obviously. It's the very last special shard in the level, and it's just annoying. And they always give you, like, the sucky powers to do, too. I mean, this one isn't too bad. It's a little bit of a... You can kind of kill people that are to the side of you. It's mainly just kind of above you type of thing. And, yeah, it's, 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 it's not fun. <laughs> I mean, it is fun, but it's a little bit frustrating. It can be frustrating if you have to do it more than once, I think. I don't know, at least for me it is, because, like... You get so far, and then all of a sudden you lose your power, or you die, and it's just like, oh. And it's like in the stupidest way possible, too. And there's the witch again. I don't know if she has a name or anything. She's not really a character that helps you in this game or not. She's kind of pierced there at the background. She, I think we saw her in Rockstar, I like, when we're about to go into the UFO. Which is kind of cool, yes. Also, your first special shard is under here, even though it wouldn't appear to be. It appeared to be just a death trap. It's not! So let's go under there, and there's your crystal shard. And I don't think you can. Yeah, you can't fly through the clouds. You know, if you could walk on clouds in real life, you could probably do that. No, I don't know. Probably, I don't know. I don't know what. I don't know what life would be like if you could walk on clouds. It'd be kind of cool, but I don't know, honestly, I don't think I would do it because I. Uh, I'm not a big fan of like heights and such. Some people are. There's like, I know there's no way ever that I will sky. Oh, there's food here. I'm gonna go and get this. There's a lot of food. Oh, they give you a lot of food here for some reason. I don't know why. It's weird. There's nothing really that's too dangerous behind this, besides the birds being unfair. Whatever. Um. But yeah, yeah, I'm not a big fan of skydiving or anything. Not that I've done it before or anything, but I feel like I've, that's something I never do in my life. It's just, it's just no. Like I watch videos of people skydiving or like doing the insane, like jumping off of buildings, and it's just like, ugh. Like why would you ever do that? I mean, they seem to be having fun and stuff, but at the same time, like I'm just imagining how scary that is. And also, your second crystal shard is in the top left, so make sure you aim correctly! Yeah! There you go. And you just go back. I guess I'll go and show everything that is here. You, you, want, to, you want to go up, but there's really nothing else. If you need food, it's on the right, but I'm just gonna go up. You can get food and stars, too, I guess, if you wanna grind for stars. Not that... It's really not that easy to grind for stars anyway, so... See why you do it! Oh, yeah, see, that's the whole, like, side thing to where... It doesn't hit everything. It doesn't only just hit the things directly above you. It also hits like to the side a little bit if you aim correctly, kind of like that. And below you, I guess you're going down, not down to the pit though. Let's not do that. These clouds. I always like these clouds. They kind of shrink and they look really cool and they're pink and you don't see pink clouds in real life, so they look cool. Actually, well, I guess you could kind of see pink clouds if the sunset or sunrise is right. I think it'd be more of. Oh gosh, I'm trying to remember the colors of the sunrise and sunset now. I think if you were to sink, see pink clouds, I feel like you'd see them more in a sun set. I believe that is correct. But it wouldn't be pink like this. It'd be kind of, well, I don't know. It'd be kind of similar, but not that light, if that makes any sense. And stupid things. I can't remember your name, even though you're one of the most well-known Kirby enemies in Kirby. I actually have some hard time remembering some Kirby names, obviously, because there's so many of them, first of all. And, I don't know. Like, even the common ones like that one, I forgot what it's name. I obviously know Waddle Dee, Waddle Dee. I usually remember Gordo a lot. I think, like, the cannons are, like, they might still be cannons, but for some reason I feel like they're called Cano. I'm not sure if that's right or not. Ooh, there's a star over here. Point in the star. Well, it's not point in the star, but still. I don't know. I don't know if that's right. I think they might just be cannons, but I don't know. Also, here's some more kind of pinkish clouds. Oh my gosh! That's so pretty. This this place actually does look really nice. This game in general actually looks really nice for N64 game. Like after, <laughs> like <laughs> I don't even know like because I I kind of grew up in N64 era and I don't know what I was thinking. Like I I guess I didn't really pay too much attention to art and stuff. And oh gosh, I better not lose my power here because I'm like right where I need to be. Um, but yeah, I don't know what people thought of about the art of Super Mario 64 or anything like that. Because like looking at it now, it's like. Blah. And like, you know, that's made people think that N64 games look really bad, and, on, and to be honest, they kind of do, but in some cases, like, you know, they actually look kind of nice. I'll see to be really careful here. I'm probably going to lose my power in the next hit, and in this kind of area, that is not good. 
I think, actually, when I was doing my past practice from a while ago, that kind of happened to me, too. Oh, gosh. No, 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 no. Okay. Oh, we actually didn't lose it. Holy crap. Wow. Okay, I'm okay with that. And you can kill these guys? I thought I didn't know that. Oh, what the heck? How was I supposed to see that coming? Other than the fact that I saw it earlier on the screen. Okay, okay. Here we go. All we need to do is break this stupid cage. Just break this stupid block. And, okay. Okay, we did it. We did it. We did it. I think we're okay. Oh, uh, we're not okay. Dang it. I'm gonna have to do the stupid level over again. <laughs> Ugh. No, no, I want... No, 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 no. Okay, okay. Let's try that again. No, no, no. Okay, there we go. I think this power is actually kind of useful in this boss fight. So, but basically, once you break that thing, you can just get rid of it. And yep, and we can't get it. Awesome. I mean, I already knew that you couldn't get it, but still. Oh my gosh. I'm just gonna have to go for maximum tomato. I'm sorry. I usually say I go for a card, but we'll try that next time because we're already low. And oh my gosh, we barely got that. Okay, so I, I hate to do this, but <laughs> I'll be right back. I have to go freaking cut. And cut ahead to that boss fight because it'll take too long to actually get there again. So I will see you guys in just a second. I like how an air puff just kills enemies. It's just like holy crap, air it hurts. Everything in this level must die, but not including me, even though it almost just happened. There's a rock. It here and there and they're both dead that witch in the background is actually going pretty slow you think that a witch may go oh fast <laughs> This song, it doesn't even make sense. I mean, it does, but it is not going well because the syllables are a bit hard to actually come out because of how the song works. But that that I just sang was a perfect example. Because the, the syllables ended in a weird way. I am being blasted into the air. Without a care, I will destroy everything. Do, 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 be, do, be, do, be. I really hate those white things that come out of the clouds. Because they did a lot. Of damage to me last time. Hen oh, hands. <laughs> Why I'm doing this all again? Do do do. I wish they were a bit more kind to make my life easier. Because I died and I have to do this again. Why does the electricity ability have to be so far away? It is very inconvenient for me. I actually am not a big fan of it. I'm not even sure if I'm going with the song Cause it's kind of, it's kind of hard to sing with bells And I miss that, it's okay, I can go back to this level and try again It's a bit easier to sing to the song it is a bit easier, it is a bit easier to get a, the power and have zero lives and I go all the way to Shiver Star and do the stupid level over again! So we meet again, one, or five, two. It was nice seeing you a second time. 
but now we're here for the third visiting. I like that jump a lot. I can jump back to it and then go prep for forward. I should really stop wasting my time. I, I'm, I almost died there, much like I almost died last time. Except I actually died last time. But I didn't die in that particular section. This is the melody of the song. Well, not really melody, it's more like a chorus. I'm actually gonna start focusing now and stop singing. <laughs> I made it! Yay! Actually, I have a good amount of health this time. I'm going to get rid of this freaking power. I hate it. After doing that level. Like, this is my third time actually doing this. And I hate- oh my gosh, please don't tell me I die here. Please don't. No, 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 no. This isn't happening. This isn't- no! No, 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 no! Alright, here we go. This is my fourth time doing this. I think I may be able to do it. I said be extremely careful. Okay, let's be extremely... Let's keep spamming that... Oh my gosh, I did it! <laughs> let's get the stupid card. Got it. As of recording this, this video is 35 minutes long. More than half the video, at least the raw video, was spent in this level. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time, where we do more Kirby 64 Crystal Shards, where we do, I don't know, maybe the last three things, the, the last two levels in the boss, I don't know, we'll see what happens. I don't know how long these two levels are going to take. <sighs> I'll see you guys next time.